Kia ora and welcome to the Easter Camp Podcast. My name's Connor and with me always is my co-host Charlie. Yes, I am also here. <laughs> Charlie, have you had a good day today? I'll tell you what Connor, I have had a ripper day. I went on the Ferris wheel. Oh yeah. I had myself a delicious creamy bacon pasta, sausage roll, spaghetti and pinch of pepper toasty. Yeah, right. And I uh, took a cold shower at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two o'clock, yeah. And okay. I, uh, <laughs> married the love of my life. Huh? What? And I uh, avoided paying my taxes. Okay. And then uh, even after all that, I still had time to absolutely destroy Mike Dodge in a reciting every worship song ever competition. <laughs> Do you know what? That doesn't sound that hard. It was not hard. No. It was very easy. Well, on today's show, we have uh, a giant panel of Easter experts. Yes, but uh, before we get to them, it's time for the Word of Knowledge. Today's Word of Knowledge is heartache. Oh, that sounds a bit sad. Have you ever experienced heartache before, Charlie? Not exactly. The only pain I ever really get is stitches. Right. <laughs> well, we asked our Easter camp experts a little bit about heartache and what they know or have experienced. Roll the tape. So, we're looking at the topic of heartache today. What does it mean to you? So many things. Yeah, I feel like we've all experienced a lot of heartache over the years. Honestly, you'd think after being around Jesus all this time, we'd be happy all the time. But no, there have been a lot of heartbreaking things we've had to endure. It was surprising, really, um, that the Son of God comes come down here to save us all from captivity. And yet, there were so many things that we face, uh, from being kicked out of towns, to when uh, John was beheaded. Wait, John? John Baptizer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he was, uh, the cousin of Jesus, yeah. Were we not just talking to John Baptizer? Shh, 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 shh. You're gonna spoil the sketch comedy. I've been to prison more times than I could count. I've been ridiculed by everyone around me. But learning to sit in silence and embrace the heartache of the people around me, it's, mm. it's really special. There's something almost spiritual about it. Apparently you can have your head cut off. Charlie! You can't really have the highs without the lows. That became increasingly obvious when we were with Jesus. Because, yes, there were a lot of brilliant, amazing things that happened. But there were also a lot of tragic, horrific things. Oh, not to mention that Jesus himself would be crucified. Yeah, of course, exactly. We had just spent three years with that guy and then it felt like it was all for nothing. It was insane, man. Completely insane. Pilot... You were the one that ultimately put Jesus to death. Do you have any sadness or remorse around putting an innocent man to death? You know what really makes me sad? What really irks my ego, so to say, is when I am sitting upon my plush couch counting the people's taxes and I look to my belt to find my military issue short sword. It is not there, it's entirely gone. So I assemble the house staff, I inquire of them, I interrogate them, and they all deny it. They're all against me, they're all conspiring against me. And so, well, off to the arena with them, no need for them. I don't need them at all. And then I sit back again, try and drown my sorrows in the people's taxes. And there it is, right between the couch cushions. Just to try and make me look a fool, but I am no fool. <laughs> well, I wash my hands of them. When we say the word heartache, what does that mean to you? I've watched a lot of destruction over the years and it, it doesn't get any easier, but I heard that on the day that Jesus died, not only was the world in mourning, but God himself went and turned off the sun. That's how sad he was. Wait, what? When I had Jesus on my back going into Jerusalem. Mm. There are like people everywhere, there's like crowds everywhere, like palm leaves everywhere. There's a lot of actually tears and lots of people desperate for a savior. And you know, people were just heartbroken. Um, sorry, quick question about um, all this. Mm. Actually, not about this at all. Have you ever seen Shrek the Third? <laughs> this is why I have a support dog. The sun, the actual sun. Yeah, the whole sun. Does he have like, a back room where he can just switch stars on and off. Yeah, of course. Don't you guys have like switchboards and power plugs here on Earth? Well, yeah, of course. 
Yeah, so it's just like that, right? It's like a giant switchboard room. And over here, you've got like Pluto, Jupiter, Mercury, a bunch of stars over here. And then in the corner, the sun with a big red button saying only switch off in case of emergency. Yeah, my entire life has been a struggle. We couldn't find a room in Bethlehem to have Jesus. And then as a child, he constantly ran away. And then my husband passes away. And then Jesus starts his ministry and it's amazing. But then suddenly everyone either loves us or hates us. And then, wow, anyway, um, I wouldn't change it for anything. Really? None of that at all? Absolutely. Uh, the path we walk on, it might be difficult, but the Lord walks with us. And when you see the miracles and the way that people's lives are changed, it, it makes every other moment worth it, even for me. She's right. I couldn't have said it any better myself. You should write a book. I did, actually, but King James didn't like it and took it out. <gasps> We're under constant threat from both the Roman Empire who wanted to keep order, and the Jewish communities who were offended by what believed. It was really difficult. Oh, just like in The Chosen! Oh man, Have you ever I seen The love Chosen? The it's chosen. so good. Love Have you seen the it? Chosen. Have you seen I it, I find it really absurd that you're talking to the real-life Matthew right now, and you want to talk to me about a TV show that merely depicts what I could have been? Well, yeah, but like... Have you seen it? Yeah, I know it's pretty good. Simon, can you tell me how you cope with heartache? Breathe. Lots of breathing. Just, just being in silence. Patience. Letting the spirit just sit with me. And... Oh my days! Your ringtone's a rooster crow! Sorry, sorry, it's my morning alarm. I don't know why it's going off now instead of 7am when I actually needed it to. It truly is part of being human, I think. We all must learn how to walk with heartache. It's like I always say, you know, what is grief? if not love persevering. I thought that was a line from WandaVision. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us. EC, take it easy. That is a line from WandaVision though, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's John Baptizer. Oh, <laughs> sorry.